Shutter guard. Post. Color. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright star through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red together and, and putting the ideas on paper and finally after we've gotten some funding together from the state and through other local uh, local matches we've been able to cobble together enough money to do this first phase um, this is pretty much a phased project the next phase will have the veterans memorials actually uh, integrated into it and then eventually this will become uh, grass and turf and landscaping where we'll have sports fields out there baseball and soccer um, so just it's a big project, but this is a beautiful addition to the community. It's already getting a lot of use. So I just want to thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out. Uh, my name is Daniel Martinez. I am the mayor pro tem of Sanger. I, I am also the council member for District 3 where this park is located. And believe me, I am truly honored to welcome you on behalf of the city council to the ribbon cutting of this of Sanger's newest park, uh, Veterans Park. Phase one. I am humbled beyond belief, and this is a quite a, a undertaking and a lot of work and a lot of hands were involved. But it's a tremendous <coughs> park, and it's actually one of the most beautiful parks uh, in in Fresno County, to say the least. Uh, this truly is a monumental event for our community. You know, Sanger has, does, and will always support its veterans. From last week's veterans parade through downtown Sanger. Uh, this weekend's annual Marine Corps birthday ball celebration, next month's Trek to the Tree, uh, the, which is the nation's Christmas tree, as a it's basically a perpetual shrine uh, to our nation's fallen soldiers. Uh, Sanger also sponsors a Memorial Day ceremony at the Sanger Cemetery that occasionally has a, a flyover, and um, the Fourth of July fireworks. And, and you know, City of Sanger is only one of a handful of of cities that actually sponsors a fireworks event. Um, and last but not least, the city does sponsor a city banner program where banners of Sanger veterans are proudly displayed on light poles along Academy Avenue from Memorial Day to Veterans Day. And, and those uh, banners serve as an inspiration to our young people uh, who want to answer the call to serve our country. Uh, you know, with its park, and, Sang and with this park and the Veterans Memorial Plaza, Sanger does solidify itself as a community grateful for the sacrifices made by those who have served our country. And while families will soon enjoy this beautiful park with its many, with its many amenities, including the walking paths, playgrounds, drinking fountains, picnic areas, this plaza will forever ensure that we do not forget those who gave some nor those who gave all. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, those individuals who helped with the planning, designing, and completion of phase one. I do want to recognize my colleagues on the city council, 
uh, they were introduced earlier, uh, Mayor Gonzalez, uh, Council Member Ontraveros, Council Member Garza, and Council Member Hurtado uh, for their support of getting this park completed. I want to also recognize City Manager Tim Chapa for his guidance and direction to get this park um, funded. I also want to thank Public Works Director John Mulligan and City Engineer Josh Rogers, uh, Daniel Galvez and Joaquin Zamora uh, from the City of Sanger. And I also want to recognize Chriscom Companies, uh, which will hopefully be putting in a lot of work to get some grant funding so we can get the rest of this park completed. I also do want to recognize J.D. Bennett and the Sangers Veterans Witness Network uh, for their hard work and their upcoming hard work to finishing up this park with an additional phase and the memorial that will be built uh, closer to Jensen Avenue. Now remember, this is indeed just phase one. This is the beginning of a tremendous uh, park that Sanger will have and that will be uh, a lasting legacy for future generations to come. So once again, I want to thank you all for attending. May God bless all of you. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Tim Chapa. I'm the city manager. Uh, in my comments, I will, be, I will be telling you a bit about the project itself, its components, its backgrounds, and future, as well as recognizing those who are most responsible in its, in its success. But before I do that, before I explain how the project you see before you today with your own eyes, how this project came to pass, I'd like to take a moment to recognize what you don't see but what you can certainly feel. Or in other words, what this project is truly about, which is this project is about service, and that's service with a capital S. Today is November 8th, three days before Veterans Day. Veterans Day, formerly known as Armistice Day, was originally set as a US legal holiday to honor the end of World War I, the war to end all wars. This officially took place on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918 when the armistice with Germany went into effect. In 1954, after having been through World War II and, and the Korean War, Congress, at the urging of veteran service organizations, amended the act, striking the word armistice and inserting the word veterans. With the approval of this legislation, November 11th became a day to honor the service of American veterans of all wars. It is appropriate then, as we open this park today on this veterans holiday weekend, and as we celebrate the completion of the facilities and the grounds that we can all see, this park that will now be used by the community and the children of Sanger, that we remember Remember that this project is truly about recognizing the service of American veterans of all wars. So now a bit of information about the project, as you've already heard. In 2006, this property was dedicated to the city of Sanger for the development of a neighborhood park. Subsequently, veterans groups, Sanger veterans groups, lobbied and convinced the city to, to dedicate and develop the park in honor of veterans. Private donations were solicited since then, but in 2017, at the request of the Veterans Advisory Committee and the Veterans Network, the City Council authorized $1.2 million to begin the project with the Phase 1 improvements you see today. The next phase will include a memorial veterans monument, walking path, turf, additional trees, landscaping, sports fields, sports lighting, and a pavilion. Funding for phase two will come from the fundraising efforts by the VAC and the Veterans Network and grant efforts by the city. In fact, the city just submitted a grant application under Prop 68, and we expect to hear on its status early next year. This project happened due to the effort of many people and organizations. It truly was a combined team effort at the same time, it is appropriate today and this weekend to recognize the commitment of service of some key players. Those include the aforementioned Veterans Advisory Committee members, Veterans Network, the City Council, Public Works Director John Mulligan, City Engineer Josh Rogers, and Management Analyst Daniel Galvez. 
Please join me once more in recognizing and thanking these individuals. Thank you very much. That live near or that uh, learn nearby that have taken a very uh, high interest in making sure that this uh, place, uh, Veterans Memorial Plaza, remains uh, the way you see it today. And they've committed themselves to uh, adopting the park. I'd like to introduce uh, Ashley Price from Sanger Unified's uh, Junction House, who will talk a little bit about uh, why they decided to adopt the park and uh, what they hope to accomplish. All right, good afternoon. My name is Ashley Price, as he's mentioned, and I'm the teacher at the Sanger Junction House. On behalf of Sanger Unified School District and the Sanger Adult Transition Program, I want to thank the city for providing us with the opportunity to adopt Veterans Park. Uh, the Sanger Junction House is located right in the connecting neighborhood here and is a resource for all students in our transition programming to be able to gain valuable life skills in a home setting. Additionally, our goal is to help our students connect to their community and feel like they're an important part of it. Being able to adopt the park is a great opportunity for our students to be able to give back to their community by helping keep the park safe and clean. We look forward to keeping the park in great condition so our neighbors and other community members can enjoy it for years to come. So we will be doing weekly sweeps of the park to make sure everything is clean. We're gonna go as far as weeding and making sure that this is gonna be the best park in Sanger. And I want you to see that there, we've got some students out here today and we've got some students all around Sanger at different places in our community. So if you ever see any of our Sanger kids, make sure to say hi to them um, and say hi to them when we're in the park. Um, this is a big project for us. Like I said, we wanna be able to make sure that we have an opportunity to give back to our community and let our students know what it means to really be a part of Sanger. So again, thank you for this opportunity to let us adopt the park. Appreciate it. You said before me that we've been looking forward to, we've worked hard on, uh, as you look around this crowd, we have uh, numerous veterans that have played a part in making sure that our veterans are recognized in the city of Sanger and that they'll continue to be recognized for years to come. Um, I'm here today on behalf of the Sanger Veterans Network. Uh, we're working in a close collaboration with the city to make sure that on this corner sets a beautiful memorial that will recognize the service, the honorable service of all of our veterans here in the city of Sanger. Um, th this will be a deserving memorial for all who have served, all branches, all wars, peacetime, uh, who have been honorably discharged from the United States uh, military. For those who have served our nation, our state, and our community, and they continue to serve today in, in different capacities. Uh, we, have, we have groups here that, that present the Marine Corps Ball, the Sanger Veterans Network, the American Legion, the VFW, the AMVETS, all these veterans organizations are a vital part and a vital role in making sure that our veterans are recognized uh, for everything that they've done for our country, for our state, for our community, and they continue to give. And we look forward to um, being a part of that. This ribbon cutting today for phase one is just a prelude to what's gonna happen on this corner up here. We look forward to continuing uh, the support for the city and working in collaboration with them, the veterans organizations, the community volunteers, and those who donate for this project. Um, and just like the city, uh, the Sanger Veterans Network is uh, working on a grant right now for a half a million dollars to uh, help contribute to this memorial that's gonna set up here. Uh, we will have, the. the design has been approved and in the near future or very near future we'll have a sign up there on the corner just like the one that's up there displaying what this memorial will look like it will be uh, in social media it will be, we'll be doing press releases to show our community what they can look forward to and we look forward to the continued success of all of our veterans organizations and the community working with us thank you Okay. Everybody ready? 